BriefCam provides the ability to take video and make it searchable, quantifiable, and actionable. And we're going to walk through how we accomplish that today. I'm going to start off in the investigative module. So this is where we make the video searchable. Uh, this is called the review module. And investigators here will search through piles of video in order to find people, vehicles, incidents of interest. I'm going to start off just by doing a quick search. I'm going to find a vehicle, in this case a pickup truck. And you see that I get uh, from these multiple cameras, I get all the matching uh, incidences of, of pickup trucks being present. Uh, so I'm going to jump into a synopsis view. And what this really provides is a very unique way of reviewing all of those pickup trucks in a very compressed period of time. So in this case, rather than watching an hour and a half of video, I can see just pickup trucks across that period of time in just over one minute. Now you can see in each case we have a timestamp associated with these objects. So this uh, truck says 1.43 p.m., this says 1.12 p.m. So these were never next to each other. Rather, we've lifted them all out of the scene so that you can review them very quickly. In fact, if I pick on this uh, black pickup truck, and I want to be able to see that in the original uh, instance, you see that there aren't those other pickup trucks around it. This allows us to very quickly review video. So I can also layer on additional rules. So if I wanted to, for example, see just the red pickup trucks, I can select red on top of the pickup trucks filter, and that takes it from 1 minute and 11 seconds uh, down to just 12 seconds, and I'm looking at just red pickup trucks now. This has a huge impact on the ability to both be successful in finding things as well as reducing the amount of time that it takes. This works great for people as well. So if I want to search a scene for a woman, uh, it'll filter through and just show the women. And I want to see women with backpacks. So I'm adding this as a layer on top of it, and I'm looking at just women with backpacks. And so again, I can jump into the synopsis view and very quickly see just the women uh, with backpacks who are present in this scene. Now I can select one of them and I can see the original context of uh, when that individual walked through the space. Now another very important way of finding people within a scene is facial recognition. Uh, this can be combined with all of the rules just like searching for red pickup trucks. Uh, I'm going to jump to another scene to show you some examples of facial recognition. Now we hear a bunch of different use cases for how organizations want to be able to use facial recognition. I'm going to start just by finding an individual of interest, in this case this individual, and I'm going to say I want to find this individual across my multiple cameras. So I can select that individual and I can find them everywhere that they were, in this case across these three cameras. And you, you can see it works great whether they're looking at the camera or not, also if they're wearing glasses or in this case without glasses. Here I can isolate one of the examples and see even if he's looking down at his camera, it still does a great job of, of finding that individual. Now we also hear a lot of instances where people have a photo of an, of, of an individual and they want to be able to find that, that person. Uh, this works great as well. So we can both upload a picture or we can create a watch list and this works both for searching the video as well as on a live basis. So if I wanted to be able to find uh, individuals within a scene, I can create a watch list and every time that one of those individuals is, is seen on one of the live processing cameras, it's going to create an alarm. So you can see instances where these individuals have been seen on camera, it created an alarm, and I can see that individual right next to the profile picture that we've added. Now when I go in to create my watch lists, you can see that I can have a number of individuals and I can include photos that I want to be uh, part of the search criteria for that individual. The last module I want to go through is our research module. And now this module is all about the data. This is a very important tool in safe cities. Uh, it's a very important tool for organizations such as facility managers. It's also a great tool for uh, areas like retail organizations. So you can see that I have different areas of store here and I can see which areas are popular. Uh, so by selecting just women, for example, all of my uh, refinements update and I can see what the counts were over time. I can also see that the most popular area for women is the sandal section. I can also select men here and see what the most popular areas were for them. So this creates an incredible tool for individuals to be able to search through the data and really get the insights that they need in order to make more effective decisions.